with him early on in your career, but uh, when you see the numbers and what he's done playing until he's 40 That's years crazy. old, how taxing that is on your body, how impressed are you? I, I'm so impressed with the Ryan Miller, and we are both 1980 birth years of the U.S. program, and kind of seeing him back at that age, and uh, he, he just had kind of that id fact. I had really good ones out there, and uh, I just think that he's had such a good career, long career, took care of himself. I mean, the fact... My hips hurt right now. <laughs> I didn't play goal. I didn't play goalie. So I can't imagine. It just shows how he, he's a pro, right? He's yeah. got the bloodlines. Uh, the idea is not to take too many swings when you're playing. But I don't take any practice. I don't take any practice. How many? You wait. Okay. No. Well, you're not a golfer. You That's right. why I would exactly. call you a golfer. <laughs> so, but for Ryan Miller, it's the games, but the practices. Yeah. Like the, the, these guys yeah. are up and down. I'm, and early in my career in the, in the mid 80s when I started, in the 84 or 5 times. I get a game tomorrow. I'm not moving. They don't yeah. do that in today's game. And they didn't do it when Ryan Miller started. So the, what he's gone through, it's incredible. I think of, wow, man, that's a, that's a tough position, but congratulations. He, he had an unbelievable career. I believe it was seven 30-plus win seasons. I mean, that's an that's elite group right there. It really is. It's mind-blowing. And, and then him off the ice. Do you guys remember the energy drink commercial where he's kind of getting into, like, a face-off, like, kind of like an insult battle with somebody his sense of humor yo mama jokes there we go insult <laughs> battle <laughs> words are hard yo mama jokes there we go <laughs> yes but his personality is so yeah. fun i'm already looking at all the feedback on social right yeah. now kevin bxa throwing out you know shouts out everyone from across the national just singing his praises and sad to see him leave and with that we're going to welcome him into the show ryan thank you so much for joining us uh we feel like 007 i feel lie. so I like cool yeah i, I feel like cool in that moment trust yes. me it's all the talented Select folks like here at nhl network yes. the, gun, the gun going that's what you gotta do next yeah. time that's good i can't take myself <laughs> seriously i'm such a dork okay so a hockey stick they were, oh, oh, we're out of something here. Yeah, you know? Nice. That's so good. Nice in on that. Not one. just a couple of hat racks here. All right. Okay, guys. So, yes, I mean, it wasn't just to show off how cool that animation is. We're going to play a little red alert because it's a critical point in the season. A lot of playoff lives are on the line. So, okay. we're going to pull up a thermometer here in place of this beautiful Indeed animation. And we are going to ask you how critical these games are for each of these four, three teams. We're actually doing three teams because we're running out of time. So blue means, like, we're not that yeah. worried. Okay. Red, like, and sound the alarm, alert. DEFCON right. 5, <laughs> red alert. Okay, so we're going to start with Stars Lightning. Dallas, two points behind Nashville for that fourth and final playoff spot with two games in hand, taking on the third place. Lightning, Rupper, let's start with you. How are we feeling? Okay, what do we We got it right here. Where's, where are we what? saying? We're going to say the Dallas Stars, this is important. They're in the orange. Okay. You know, I mean, they've got... I don't want to say wiggle room. It's not wiggle room. I mean, it's not like a must 100% if they lose this. They're not... They need it. That's pretty severe in my books, right? Or where are you at on this one? I mean, I guess you set the broader. I mean, yeah, well, the you, you, you set it, but I, I, maybe I'm a little more of a nervous Nelly. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm going right past your upper. This Ooh, is their first red game. alert. You know why? Because they play every game the remainder of the way on the road. It's seven okay. straight roads. For the red hot button. Guys, we got to win this one. Not an easy task either. Game Not game. easy yeah. at all on the road. They've played so well in Sunrise, Florida. And obviously, we've been pumping up the, you know, the rematch of Stanley Cup final. But, yep. you know. Not exactly the gotta, same teams we're looking at, but you need they your gotta, teams to get they healthy. They got a tough, to get going. tough schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Not just location-wise, being on the road. Those are tough teams. Tough games, yeah. yeah. Yeah, big one against the Preds on Saturday. Okay, are we ready for our next one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're going with the New York Rangers playing the Isles. Rangers won three straight in seven of their last nine. Are on the outside looking in still, but after all that, their final stretch. Are you ready for these games? Two against the Islanders, two against Washington, and two against Boston. So, like... Red alert. Yeah, it's red alert all over it. It's red alert all over it. I, I'm sure we're going to get to the schedule. We can talk more about it. But, Reader, I mean, they've got to win at one thing. David Quinn saying, just win. Just win. Just play. Just play hockey. Play. Win. Red. Alert. Go. But like it's hard? Reader's hurt. Yeah. Just you got to no, win. They got to win every game. <laughs> you got to win. Yeah. yeah. I, I, exactly. And my feelings are it's the Islanders who the Rangers have to catch. It's yeah. not the Bruins. I the Bruins, they're past it. Yeah. And sure. the reason I say the Islanders, because the Islanders, you can just keep that going. Keep her going. You can throw it right. You can keep it going it's right gonna now. Go it's going to burst out. It's going to burst out of the thermometer. No question that the New York Rangers are red alert. This is a absolute must win because the Islanders, they lose this game, and especially if they if they score two goals or less going on, Islanders are going to need, uh, or the Rangers going to need help from other teams to beat the Islanders uh, in their remaining games as well. 
But that's why, for me, the Rangers, well, Rangers can't lose. Yeah. If they lose yeah. this game, they got to win. And they don't yeah, even fully co like control their own destiny, even if they do win all six. Yeah, they need help. And that's the tough thing. They're playing great, but so are the other teams, yes. at least, except the Islanders, who have not yeah. played well in the last couple of weeks. And that's why circle these two games on their calendar say hey here we go this is who we're trying to catch they'll have to pray to the hockey gods uh speaking of the isles let's just reset here we go at msg isles versus rangers tight race in the east we've already talked about that these two teams are separated by just five points how concerned are we rupper uh, not as much obviously because they're in a good spot they're in control of their own destiny so i'm going to give them Right here into the yellow. That's because like an SPF 30. Th yeah, yeah, SPF 30. <laughs> you, you're not, I don't know. For the New York Islanders, I think their goals have to be just playing better simply. They have not been playing good. And plus, this team wants home ice advantage, at least yes. for a round. I mean, they've been dominant at home. So uh, that's not as serious, but it's it's getting there for the New York Islanders. Well, I, I know some Islander fans, and I and, and Rupper. I, I think the Islander fans might disagree. With so I'm not working this they, building. They, they, might, <laughs> they, they might disagree with you on that one. As we can bring this along, we can bring this along. You know, I don't think that the Islanders are uh, as concerned because Whoa. they do have a lot of your team. And you know, yes, if they don't score, it's going to be in their minds. But the Rangers have to win both games, so that's six periods. So even if it's a close game and they lose, they lose the first one. Regulations. The they need. Let's try they this. need regulation wins. The Rangers, not yes, even, yes, not even over that. Right. Yeah. You can't and, be giving points to any other. Not games. throwing because Buffalo's beating everybody. Buffalo's, you know, got to relax a little bit. And this is a team that you can do it with because the Rangers love to play the down and back yeah. end end. And uh, it'd be fun to see this game go a six five or five four. But I really think if the Rangers win this one. Next time we come in, next game with the Islanders Rangers, I'll change my thermometer. Well, you, well, you might move it up to green. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I like, dude, just in the I was, blue. Yeah, you're I in the like blue right now. Cool, shallow end. Yeah, it I mean, was nice. Relaxing. I'm, I'm there chill. Go. This is the guy that's relaxing. this is the guy that was out there at the end of the games, killing penalties yeah. and all that stuff. So he's got ice in the veins. Got, yeah, yeah that's chill. very true. Yeah, chilling in the blue. Easy for you to say that you need to just well relax and play a nice loose game when you have so much on the line. But clearly, you know a little something about that. I am worried. I'm worried about a couple of. All right, it's time now for Hitting the Post, where we look at some of the best hockey posts. See what we did there on social media. First up, we've got Steve, who is puck handling around some objects on the treadmill. I've got to say, I've seen this before. Steve, you're resourceful and you're talented. I'm totally here for it. Now we've got hockey bros who are fans of the show, giving us their best Tuka Rask impression. And it's, it's very animated. I'm not sure what you're using for your glove. But it's entertaining. Well done, fellas. Up next is Elisa showing us her skills all the way from Russia. Elisa, you are extremely talented, my friend. Oh, and the spinorama. Is she going to score? Wait for it. Very, very impressive. But last and certainly not least, we've got this insane glove save from point blank. Wait for it. What a reach. Very, very good. Don't forget to send us your posts by hashtagging IceTime and tagging at NHL Network to see your posts on a future episode.